Hey guys, this is Rick. A while back, I did a presentation on how segregated witness is actually calling disadoption of the BTC fork of Bitcoin. And I was showing how the transaction count is falling, thereby giving the appearance of segregated witness getting adopted because the percentage of SegWit transactions is rising. That only being because the overall transaction count is falling. A couple of people protested this, saying that, no, Rick, you're missing all out on the big picture. Everybody's using batching now, and so your data has no significance anymore. Well, unlike those comments, I fully understand what batching is. I understand what UTXOs are, and I'm going to show that batching is not the cause of the disadoption we're seeing in the numbers. <laughs> So going back to this previous presentation I did where I was arguing that the Bitcoin BTC segregated witness technology, one year later, we can actually see that it's not getting adopted, but disadopted. Even though the share of segregated witness transactions is rising, the transaction total count is dropping. And therefore we're seeing disadoption, not adoption. This observation was not without controversy. Uh, it was called a flame war disinformation and in particular because batching, I was completely wrong, because batching. In order to understand what this batching is, uh, we need to look a little bit of what Bitcoin is and whether to evaluate this statement. But there were comments like, don't bother he, meaning me, is not intelligent enough to understand UTXOs. <laughs> yeah, let's not go into that. And basically, lots and lots of techno babble saying that, no, the t transaction count is falling like a rock, but everything is fine because magical pixie dust. Let's take a look at this batching that was said, that everything is fine because batching. How Bitcoin works at a, at a more technical level is that if, when you're buying something for $29.95, you might be paying with a 50 euro bill, like this one. And if you're buying it in a store, then your 50 euro bill becomes $29.95 to the merchant, and you're getting one 20 euro bill and five cents back. One unit of money becomes three units of money. This, 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 and this. The transaction would work the same, no matter if you were giving the merchant three bills, 20, 20, and 10 equals 50. And what happens later is that 29.95 goes to the merchant, you get 20 euros back plus five cents, probably just one of your original bills in terms of physical items, but looking at value, this is the same thing. So this is what we have for a typical merchant when we're dealing with coins and bills, coins and notes. However, when we're paying with Bitcoin, just like in the physical case, we have a 50 euro bill up here, but the Bitcoin system creates a 29.95 bill here and a 2005 bill here. So the Bitcoin system creates new bills with the denomination that a, pers a particular transaction requires. After this transaction has completed, I can then move on to spend this particular bill with a value of 2005 by something worth 1337, which goes to the merchant, and I get a new bill of 668. These new bills that are produced from every transaction are called unspent transaction outputs in technical lingos, or UTXOs. 
So if UTXOs are spent like this, as in you're spending a UTXO and you're getting new ones as a result, where do, the, where do they initially come from? As in how do they enter the system? They are the rewards for Bitcoin mining. They enter the system at a rate of one new UTXO every 10 minutes and the value of it varies a bit with the age of the Bitcoin system. Initially it was 50 Bitcoin, then it became 25, now it's 12 and a half. It halves every about four years. So with that bit of background, what is batching then? It is simply if you have these two transactions and the right one here is similar, but I made the num numbers different so it wouldn't look exactly like the previous transaction to make sure that th these are unrelated transactions. If you have these two unrelated transactions with two inputs, one bill worth 50 euros and one bill worth 1995, and you're buying one person is buying something for 39.95, another person is buying something for 30 and 37 and getting this in change. Then batching simply means executing both of these transa transactions as part of one package. In other words, it's simply an accounting trick where you're putting a little bit more economic activity into one particular transaction. You have two customers or three customers on one cash register receipt. And that's not magical pixie dust. That wasn't really as nearly as hard as it was made to sound, was it? And so returning to the original question, does batching explain the decreased transaction count? Is batching the reason for the transaction count just dropping through the floor? seeing how all these exchanges are now doing batching as this is explained. If batching is the explanation, then we would see a growth of UTXOs because the transaction count would artificially be dropping while activity would still be rising. And that growth would be obviously over and above the ones that already passively enter the system one every 10 minutes. Let's go back to our transactions count chart. This is, this is the transaction count since last July that I showed in my previous presentation. This is the UTXO count for roughly the same, trans, roughly the same amount of time. It starts a little later and just in case this doesn't show on the screen, it's a very thin line. I I drew it clear. I drew it clear. It looks very similar to the line of transaction counts. In fact, it looks exactly like the line of transaction counts. It's even the case that if we add the line of passive growth, then we see that the UTXO count today in B in Bitcoin BTC is barely above what it would have been if nobody had used the system at all during this time. It is just barely above the passive system line. So in conclusion, rebutting this particular argument that everything is fine because magical pixie dust, batching is not the reason the transaction count for Bitcoin BTC is going through the floor.